What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey now. So this is a completely different type of video. As you guys see from the title, yes, that is correct. Your girl is pregnant. If you follow me over on Instagram on my planner page or my personal page, which is Color Me Ash and then Ash Plants Ish, then you already seen that I am pregnant. So this is no surprise to some, but I did want to come on here officially and announce it to my YouTube fam because not everybody follows me over on Instagram. So surprise. Um, I just wanted to go over just a few things. Um, I am officially out of my first trimester, which is why now is like the time that I feel comfortable actually coming on here and talking about everything, all the tea. So let's just get into it. So first things first, I am officially 14 weeks pregnant at this point. My due date is January 9th. Um, I found out and knew, I would say like within my four week range. Um, really the only way that I knew for sure was because my period comes like clockwork y'all. So when I was a day late, I was already kind of like side eyeing. And then two, oh, I'm like somewhat out of breath y'all. And then two, my boobs, baby. These were some mommy titties, like no lie. I was like, these ain't regular, like this ain't regular period boobs. You know how sometimes your, po your boobs get a little tender or like, you know, even a little fluffier. It wasn't like normal period boobs. So I was a little suspect already. And I kind of texted my husband. I was like, you know, I think I might be pregnant. And he was like, well, go get a test. I was like, no, I'm going to wait to see if I'm, a little bit later in my in my period or for my period um and sure enough uh the second day that I was late I went on ahead and I was like you know what my best friend I was talking to her me and her our periods are pretty much synced up so I went on ahead and went and got a test which is like the very first time that I've ever taken an at-home pregnancy test but I got the all right as I was saying uh I literally pissed on the test and that thing lit up like in less than a minute I want to say honestly and I was like are we sure but like since I already had that feeling of just like all right things are off I just it just confirmed what I already knew uh was this pregnancy planned no clearly um so if you guys don't know, if you've never been here before, I am a mother of three, two of which I birthed myself. Um, I have a 16 year old daughter, a 15 year old son and a 10 year old daughter. So it has been, you know, some time since I was in my baby having phase. And even then, like, you know, my oldest child is 16, my youngest is 10. So like, you know, there was some distance between those two because honestly, I did not plan on having a larger family. But as the saying goes, like <laughs> you make a plan and God is gonna laugh every time because God always, you know, throws that curveball and it just kind of is what it is. So no, the pregnancy was not planned and actually, um, I have not been on birth control for, I want to say it's been about two years at this point. Maybe not quite, but like pretty close. I had an IUD for about, I want to say it was around five or six years. And I decided to get it taken out because I was just ready for my body to be complete, completely free of any sort of like hormonal things, any sort of like birth control period, because I've been on birth control since I was 16 years old. So we were pretty much using um, my ovulation awareness method. So we tracked my ovulations and, you know, we did well for two years, pretty much around that, you know. Um, and honestly, I don't even believe like when I got pregnant, the week that I got pregnant, according to like, you know, the dates and everything, I don't even believe that I was ovulating. So when I say this was like some divine intervention, 
it just kind of is what it is so this was a complete surprise to us um so it did kind of take like some mental adjustments as far as like you know us planning our family out you know because in our, in our minds we were about done having kids and you know we were just moving on to the next phase in life um, my oldest daughter getting her prepared for college getting my son prepared to graduate and you know do whatever he's going to do afterwards so like we were just in a completely different mindset so now that we have you know this baby on the way it's like really it took us to like really ground ourselves again and like be ready to rewrite that plan. All right, so the question that I have been getting asked a lot by everybody that I've been, you know, sharing this information with is how I've been feeling, which is, you know, pretty typical. I actually, um, all in all, I feel really good. Um, I haven't had any morning sickness, um, no major symptoms. Like I've had some recent pains in like my hips my hips uh, adjusting and things. And then other than that, it's just been me, me being a little bit more tired than normal. Um, I'm still working. If you guys don't know, I'm, if you guys don't know, I'm a hairstylist. So I'm on my feet all day. Um, but even with that, like I feel, I feel 100% myself. I don't feel overly fatigued. I just need a little bit of a nap every once in a while. Um, I did write some things down just so I didn't forget because I have been somewhat journal Ooh. I've been somewhat journaling this journey since I began so I just wrote down some like quick things as far as first trimester is concerned so first things first I wanted to share with you guys what prenatal vitamin I am currently on um I have been on the garden of life my kind organics the prenatal once a day um i mean i like these because they don't make me feel nauseous um i was taking it was actually the mega food women's daily vitamin at first because i had just ordered some so i was trying to finish those out but then my doctor did suggest for me to switch over to a prenatal for the iron benefits but in addition to that i know that i'm really anemic or i can get really anemic because i have been in my past pregnancies so i went on ahead and picked up the blood builder which is by mega food um but yeah this is all the supplements that i've been taking so far uh like i said this one doesn't make me nauseous at all the one thing that i will say is I have to eat, I have to put something on my stomach, like some kind of carby thing on my stomach before I eat my vitamin. Because if I don't, then I feel like you ever just get that feeling of sour stomach. I never feel like I have to throw up, but I just have that sour stomach. So, you know, that's, that's that on that. So that was one of the things that I wrote down as far as like my first trimester recap. Um, I was extremely constipated. Now something about me, I've always had digestive issues, um, which is why I cut out a lot of different meats and it's going to be interesting because, you know, I'll share more, but, um, I cut out a lot of different meats because I've always had issues with my gut and because of like everything that's happening in my body, which is like, you know, I feel like constipation is pretty common. So I was hella constipated. But as I'm going back to my point about me cutting back my meat, I have actually eaten more meat lately, uh, specifically red meat. I've been craving like a steak, a burger. Like, I don't know what it is about that, but that's something that I have been eating a lot of, which is not typical at all for me. Um, I typically try to limit the amount of red meat that I eat. However, that little component of iron is extremely important for me right now. So I have been like, you know, more lenient with myself. You know, I'm feeding too right now. So the other thing as far as cravings are concerned. So I didn't have like a specific taste for anything for a while, but I will say around week, maybe eight. Like I had a serious sweet tooth. All right, you guys, so I will tell you guys now, this is me after I was trying to edit the video. I noticed that a lot of my footage was like extremely blurry. It was like a 10 minute click, 
of a lot of really good information so um so I look slightly different but let's go ahead and pick up where I left off I was talking about the cravings that I had so around the eight week mark was when I began to get like an extreme sweet tooth y'all like give me cake give me brownies give me uh peanut butter m ms which have been current fave but yeah i have been loving loving sweets and typically i'm not a big sweets person typically i like a lot more savory foods like chips and stuff like that but for whatever reason this baby is loving the sweet stuff so yeah and then um another thing that i have been making sure to be doing is drinking all the water so i heard before i don't know how you know good this information is but i heard that if you are well hydrated that kind of helps prevent morning sickness like i said i never had morning sickness from the beginning so you know really it was more of a thing of just making sure that i was well hydrated being that it's hot outside i spend a lot of time outside because i'm a gardener and just constantly on the move even if i'm not able to like you know eat something just feeling hydrated makes you feel nice and full and all of that good stuff so as far as like you know cravings and things of that such that's it for that so as far as birthing options for us we are currently we're currently seeing an OBGYN. Um, I've only been seeing this OBGYN roughly around two years or so. So, um, one of the things obviously that's going on with the COVID-19 and everything, my husband has not been able to go to my doctor's appointments with me and that really made me feel some type of way and I realized how important it was for me to have that comfort and then you know then too i'm thinking about what is it going to look like when we go to the hospital are they only going to allow him in my previous pregnancies um my two births that i did before that i did before y'all know what i'm saying <laughs> um in my two previous birthing experiences i not only had my husband i had my mom i had my grandma my dad was up there like my kids went with the second one we had the kids up there so like you know all of those things are really really important to me and i realized that i need that extra support other than just my husband so we actually have been looking into the home birthing route in my mind I, it's already said like this is what i'm going to be doing but we're still trying to tie down the midwife portion of it um, i spoke to a couple of midwives and we did agree that we would move forward however we just haven't tacked it all the way down yet um as far as if this is a new experience for me going completely drug free this is going to be the first time that i'm birthing without any sort of medications so um i won't say that i'm nervous at all because i feel like i'm prepared for this i feel like you know there's a reason why god let me this way or this direction in the first place so i feel confident that i'll be able to do it but i'm trying to be as educated as possible and really trying to do any you know old wives tales that work as far as helping the birthing process go as good as possible but mostly i'm just setting my intentions on having a healthy birth um uh i won't say a pain free but a smooth delivery um because i did tear with my last daughter so i've been looking into some different options as far as things that will help strengthen that area for me to you know pass another baby through so like you know these are all things that i'm keeping in mind if you guys have any good information or people to follow definitely leave them down in the comment section below like i said this is be this is gonna be brand new for me child and i'm gonna need as much help as possible so uh yeah hopefully with the the midwives and everything like that we'll be able to get everything more solid if you guys do want to go along with me on that journey i feel like i will be sharing this um i'm not used to doing the vlog style videos but i definitely want to get into more of that so if you do want to see that also let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have a good recommendation for a camera 
or if y'all are cool just seeing footage from my phone let me know you know all of that just holla at me but yeah I will definitely be sharing that journey I don't know that my midwife will feel comfortable with me filming during the appointments um, if anything it will be more of just like a logging process for me because I forget a lot of stuff like y'all have like the worst mem the worst memory so if anything it'll just be helpful for me to have that information on video even if I never share it so I'm definitely going to just make sure that she's comfortable with it before I commit but anywho so there goes that on that and then as far as also like tracking the progress and process of everything um, I showed you guys maybe about a month or two ago that I picked up this planner which I'm actually going to be using for my pregnancy ooh, mm, pregnancy burps um, I'll be using this for my pregnancy journal so um, I did film a video it was kind of all over the place I'm going to end up refilming it and share with you guys what I'm doing in here but if you want to see that definitely stay tuned I'll be posting that probably sometime over the weekend um, but yeah, I really like this planner because it is a horizontal layout. So I can just, you know, journal in some things or just jot down some notes like from, you know, the doctor's visits or like any little bits of information. Or if I want to highlight something that maybe happened with baby or me, you know, that's what I'm keeping all of this for. But um, on top of this which if you guys are followers of mine then you already know that I keep a wellness journal and that's actually I'm taking you know the month out of here and I'm keeping it in here just so I'm not you know I don't have two different books and I'll just put the you know the filled out stuff back in there but um, I've also been in the habit of tracking my food and my vitamins and my water intake all of this stuff has been extremely helpful to keep track of especially since I've been having like more heartburn so I really want to narrow down and see what it is that's actually giving me heartburn because sometimes it's like the oddest things that like trigger it and it's never the things that I think it's going to be like I had some pasta the other day that had like a tomato sauce and gave me no heartburn which in my mind it's like a heavy acid food so I thought that it would but it didn't which I'm thankful for but you know I just thought it was kind of strange but yeah so that's another thing definitely look forward on my channel again make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then I'm sure that you guys want to see the bump not gonna front y'all like really I just got like a little bit of COVID weight with a little bit of a bump like I can justify the little little bump but I'm gonna show y'all anyway so give me a second all right y'all so here I am again can't really see bump from the front right now it's really just you know normal weight but I do got a little bit of a little shump shump let me position my mirror to make sure that I'm giving y'all angles. Making a mess over here. Yeah. So, yeah, I got a little bit of bump. Can move this down out of the way. So, yeah. And I'm rocking some waist beads. I have like a, a root chakra waist bead just to kind of help keep me grounded. But then these two, this one is like a baby love. And then this one is like another. It's called Honey Love. Can't recall what all the jewels are supposed to signify, but got those just to adorn the bump while we're going through this process here. All right, you guys. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed just getting the update, all the scoop on what's currently going on in our lives. Um, I thank you all for your well wishes, those who have already sent congratulations and all of those things I really thank you all um yeah and I'm trying to think if there's any other bit of information but I don't think so again if you guys want to stay tuned and 
keep up with everything pregnancy related. If there's anything specific that you would love to see, definitely leave it down in the comment section below. Make sure that you hit this with a thumbs up and subscribe because how else you gonna know when I'm posting stuff. So I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next video, peace out.